Yeah, it's obviously pretty much my dream come true. It took me a long time to kind of get back there. Um, obviously, I was very lucky my first couple of years. Um, and obviously, it's what I tried to get back to. Um, I had a long 14 or 15 weeks out, I think, and sometimes it seemed in rehab where I wasn't felt like I wasn't going to get back. But um, yeah, it was really good to be back out there again on uh, Friday night. Uh, then no, I've never had a surgery something or anything like that, so it's definitely been the longest I've been out of the game. Um, I've been very lucky across my career um, in terms of only having uh, a couple of little soft tissue injuries and stuff like that. Never really had to um, have surgery or anything like that, so uh, it's the first time I've had it and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Fingers crossed. Did you feel any rust on you on Friday night? Uh, a little bit rusty. Yeah, I think that's probably normal um, coming in from such a long time away from uh, AFL standard footy. Um, you know, I was a little bit fumbly in a couple of contests um, and I probably didn't switch into defence as quick as I probably would have um, previously. So that's just some stuff that I work on um, and obviously I'll be better for it this week um, as well as, you know, match fitness as well. So um, it's just little things that I'll tinker with, but, yeah, I think I'll be fine this week and definitely be better for it. Uh, yeah, it's obviously structurally it feels just as strong as what it did before. Um, I think my, my surgeon did a very good job of repairing it all up, which is good, so thank you to him. But um, yeah, it's obviously my knee feels strong. It's just about you know feeling good about it and feeling strong through it again uh, and, and pushing off, which I feel like I've been able to do and I feel like I'm confident on it again. So yeah, it does feel good. Yeah, I feel like obviously we had a we had a decent start to the year. I think we lost to West Coast in round three, but apart from that, you know, we had a big wing over Richmond in round four, and that was a, that was a round I got injured. Um, I feel like the boys have done a, a decent job of it, at least playing competitive and, and really good footy. I mean, we've we've been in pretty much every game that we've lost, um, and every game we've won, we've we've been competitive. I think in all of them, um, and I feel like you know it's starting to get a few people back from injury as well as starting to start to get some good form again. So I feel like we're definitely on the right track um, and as long as we keep going in the right direction, which I feel like we are, we're going to be all right. Um, you know, I feel like we're, we're definitely hitting the, hitting the, right, in the right areas at the moment to, to keep pushing forward for finals and hopefully just keep winning and, and hold our top four spot and then just go from there. A lot of unknowns at the moment. Do you know where you're training this week? <laughs> yeah, we, there is a lot of unknowns, but we, are, we do know that much. We know we're going to be training and that's at Punt Road Oval, so... Uh, down at Richmond, so we're going to be running around there today, which is good, and I think as well for captain's run as well later in the week. You've shown you've been able to handle this period quite well even last year, so does it make any difference whether you play in Queensland or you play in Melbourne this weekend? Yeah, I think we have been, we have been handling it quite well. Uh, I think that's been a massive mindset for, for us um, coming into it as well, because obviously we're wanting to prove that we can be here and we have the right to be here uh, and that we are one of the best teams in the comp and we're trying to show that and prove that. And I think that last year we definitely did that uh, in the bubble and, and playing away up in Queensland. And I feel like we can do that again here and we have done it so far. So um, obviously we don't know where the game is this week. So we're still waiting to see where that is and where, where it's going to be played. But I think obviously we're just going to have the same mindset and come into it uh, and try and obviously get in and have a big win over GWS this week. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's obviously it's our home, so we're, we're obviously very keen to get home. But um, we'll leave that up to we'll leave that up to the the people in charge. We'll just first of all worry about the GWS game first and get that done. But yeah, I mean, obviously showdown's huge. Um, we want to make sure that we sweep the crows this year, which you know we, we I think we're all going to enjoy doing. Um, we've got to focus on GWS first, but then obviously we're going to come in and uh, make sure we get our job done the week later in the showdown. Yeah, I, I I can't really answer that one. Sorry, mate. I don't actually know when when we're going to get confirmation. I'd like to I'd like to think that it's uh, as soon as as soon as we as soon as we can as soon as possible. But again, I, I don't know. It's um, 
it's, I think I know that people are working behind the scenes to try and get it organised, but I, I don't know when we're going to find out. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously Ken's got some great trust in us because, you know, it, is, it probably will take me you know, a week or two. Um, I'm hoping this week I feel a lot better and I feel a lot more confident, especially once you hit that first one um, on, on Friday night. Uh, I, st I Definitely my second half was a lot better and I felt a lot more com comfortable than I did in the first half. So I think if things keep progressing like that, um, I keep working my way into the game, then I think that it makes sense that I'll hopefully be hitting my, um, hitting my form that I had at the start of the year, you know, hopefully this week or next week. Yeah, it is. I mean, Razu came in and, and has had an amazing start to the season as well. Made a great impact um, on the club in pre-season. He's one of the hardest trainers that we've got at the club. Um, and he really got himself into a really good position um, early in the year. And now it's hopefully um, we have Razio back this week and, um, and, you know, a few more people to come back in as well. So um, in the next few weeks after that. But, yeah, it's, it's great. It's going to be great to have Razio back. He's, he's a, an amazing talent and he's a very hard worker. So we know that he's going to give us everything um, in that half forward role. And just finally from me, uh, Lockie Jones, I'm going to sit back in disappointing given, you know, he showed some really good signs in this year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is, it's really disappointing for, for Jonesy. I mean, this is the second surgery I think he's had this year and he's, he's been super unlucky, I think, with all the, you know, all the injuries he's had. I think he's done two hammies and now it's his second syndesmosis injury and this is on his other ankle, so um, incredibly unlucky, but I know that Jones, he's, he's, a, he's a hard worker and he's um, he's pretty tough, so I know that he's going to work through it. Um, and he's definitely going to try and get himself back in, in shape, hopefully, and you know we'll let him obviously let him go and, and hopefully get himself right in his rehab. Um, you know who knows what's going to happen, but yeah, fingers crossed for him that it's only you know three or four weeks. But again, we don't really know. It's hard to, hard to know, especially with all the injuries he's had this year. Brilliant, thanks, Amy. Good luck this week. Thank you. Um, I feel like in terms of just a few of my mindset in terms of my positioning around the ground and turning into, into from, from when we're going from offence from having the ball into when we turn it over, um, I felt like I was just a little bit slow to, to kind of man up on, to go and find my man uh, and then start sliding to support, which is a pretty, pretty critical role for, for what a winger is. Uh, but then also I just felt like I was a little bit fumbly with the ball in my hands, um, just especially in the second quarter. I think there's... Trav, Travis Boak um, fired, a, fired a pretty clean handball to me. I just double grabbed it. That's probably the, the one that comes to mind. Um, but yeah, it's just, just little things like that that I've got to clean up, um, which I, I think I can do quite easily um, and just adjust to it. But yeah, I'll be fine. Was there a moment in, early on in the game where maybe you laid a tackle or got a hit and thought you guilty, I'm back? <laughs> I think almost the very first contest, I ran into Grundy in his, in his legs, I think. Uh, and almost the very first contest, I went to smother the ball that he kicked. So. Yeah, yeah, that was the that was the welcome back moment. I got a nice one to my ribs, so yeah, left a good one from, from that. Brilliant. Um, and as a young man uh, making his way, and you've been watching a legend of the club cheered off after such a milestone game, mate. Can you just share a few thoughts on what that means to you as a young player? Yeah, uh, it was it was pretty amazing. It was the main thing that we came in that I kind of came into the game for was it was one to obviously get through the game and, and hopefully play my role. And obviously was was the other thing was to make sure that we win for for Bokey and. To see him come off at the end, I mean, it's a, he's had a pretty um, topsy-turvy week in terms of you know, all the stuff that we had to deal with in terms of the travel coming away, being in a hub now, um, and not having crowds, etc. cetera. You know, he, he just accepted it and he just went along and, and did as much as he could to, to, to get to the game and, and still play exceptionally well as he did. Um, he's been a massive icon for the club for, for um, so many years now and... You know, young players like myself look up to him because of you know, what, how he's, what he's been able to do with himself and how he carries himself and the type of leader and person that he is as well. So very, very lucky to be, you know, be led by someone like him and, and TJ and stuff as well. But you know, obviously as a young player looking at him, you, know, you idolise that, that type of player and what he is as a person as well. So very lucky to be alongside him and to play, you know, to play in his three-month game. I was 
pretty excited. I was hoping to get back for it, and I, I was able to get back just in time to play it. So, yeah, it was very good. Oh, that's, a, that's put me on the spot. That's a great question. Uh, hopefully go food shopping and restack my fridge. <laughs> I, reckon my fridge I reckon my fridge is going to be pretty empty. Cheers, buddy. No Anything else, guys? David Alpert, those of us who were just leg-sick, which knee was it again? That was my right knee. My right knee, yeah, so my kicking leg. Yeah, do you need Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a little while since I've put one through, so it might be a bit rusty when I when I pull it out again. So, I've got to practice it training maybe. <laughs>